get to this estate. We've been flying over his estate for the past two hours. It's a tricky locations and production design problem, which is you're making a low budget film, but you've got to have the house of the richest guy in the world. <laughs> How do you do that? We knew that if we found a really spectacular landscape and put a building inside it, the landscape would provide a lot of the power of the guy. The landscape and the feel of the place is just so extraordinary. And we soon settled upon Norway. It's incredible, these vertical hills, these waterfalls everywhere, these deep, deep fjord sea locks. The notion of somebody owning this, I think sums the guy up. So Nathan owns that mountain, and he owns that river, and everything we're walking on belongs to nobody except for him, and I think that's the kind of guy he is. Caleb, this building isn't a house. It's a research facility. Cozy, right? We definitely went away from cold blue light sci-fi, hard white plastics and blue lights and stuff, and towards a warmer kind of sci-fi. We wanted to play with and balance out man-made materials with organic and natural materials right the way through. We've balanced out, you know, the, the, the concrete and the glass and the technological aspect with the fact that he's set in this really beautiful landscape and environment. And in a sense, that, that mirrors what's happening with the characters as well. I'm wondering if you're watching me on the cameras. And I hope you are. Ava's space is an observation room. When we first looked at the idea of a, a cube within a room, we would imagine that we would put Ava within the cube and we would be outside it looking in, but we swapped that around. So in fact, Caleb, who's the observer, sits in this cube and Ava, who's the observed, is able to roam around 270. It's a good example of how production design feeds into a story. Because then when Ava walks around, rather than feeling like she's got a lot of space, she's more like a tiger in a zoo, walking backwards and forwards over the same spot. And you think she shouldn't be here, she should actually be elsewhere. And the fact that Caleb is in this little box, but then can just walk out and be in this huge landscape. It's typical of the way the people involved in making this film elevated it beyond the script that I gave them and turned it into something uh, bigger and more interesting. Did you know that I was brought here to test you? What will happen to me if I fail your test? 